May the green keep you, traveler. Welcome to our sleepy little town of Willow Grove, traveler. We make the finest golden honey mead, rare and delicate on the tongue. Well, we do when things aren't all a flutter. We've got a number of beehives, right? We've been looking to clear some of the forest, expand out, and hired a mage to help make it happen. The buzz around town is that there's a problem. I don't know the details, though. I'd say you should go talk to Treethane Ranneth. She runs our little town here. She has the biggest house in town, the one with two bulbs. Can't miss it. Have a good day, traveler. Ah, welcome. I'm entertaining a guest at the moment. Is there something I can help with? Ah, people spreading rumors. You heard true enough. We hired an Aldma mage to clear the land above the village to make room for our beehives. He's been dazed now, and if he doesn't complete the contract soon... Well, if he doesn't complete the contract soon, he'll have to eat his wife. Alanya seems like a lovely girl, and I don't want that to happen. We are simple people here, and we know little of magic. As part of the contract, Alanya offered herself as our pact hostage. I want to give Master Prokoma more time to work his magic, but he has little time left. The Mage's tent has some papers and personal items inside. Perhaps you could look to see if anything there might explain this delay? And... Huh. Perhaps Selanya may be able to suggest what to look for. I pray to the Green. You can help us resolve this. No one here wants to see this contract fail. It's somewhat complicated. This situation is all about a contract that ensures equal treatment between unequal partners. Pocomo is a mage, powerful and learned. We're just simple brewers. Tradition states that the Pact Hostage is a guarantee that the more powerful party will fulfill their end of the bargain. If Pakamo doesn't fulfill the contract, we'll be forced to prepare his wife and serve it to him as Unthrapa. In Panrielic, it translates something like atonement. We say that if you are forced to eat the Unthrap, you must eat your sin. You must consume your failure. I, I could. We hired Pekamo to clear the trees above the village. We're a devout community. We observe the Green Pact as closely as possible. Cutting down the trees for our own gain would be a clear violation of our belief. Yes, of course. Before Pekamo came to town, we were going to hire some Khajiit from Olkar to do the work. But when he and Alanya arrived, 
He asked if there was any service he could provide, so we took him up on his offer. The philosophy, the religious point of view for most of my people. We hold the forest sacred, and the pact forbids us from harming plants and trees. It can be somewhat inconvenient to stay true to our faith, but we manage. Yes, it is verboten for us to harm the forest by direct action. But for a non-believer, an outsider to clear the trees, especially for the benefit of the faithful, that is fine. Wait! Why are you in my tent? Who are you? You're not from Willow Grove. You're looking through my things. Can I help you? Thank the eight. I really could use some help. Something's gone terribly wrong and I don't know what I did. I should never have told them I was a powerful mage. My poor Alanya. I don't want to eat her. A ritual? Oh, the ritual Master Tellinger sent for me. You're right. This should absolutely work. We'll just need to gather the right ingredients. Uh, will you gather them? I should really attend to things on the hill. The chitin of a Horvor, five torch bug thoraxes, and a heartwood fragment. I don't know. Maybe Ranath will know where you can find these things. I have to get back up the hill. Just find me when you have them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope there was something helpful in the tent. 
starting to worry about how the other villagers will react to these continued delays. Ah, good then. What are you looking for? Perhaps I can help. Hmm, Cerulean should have some. He's a merchant. Travels all about Valenwood, but always returns home to us here in Willowgrove. He usually has some chitin from his travels to the Southern Wood. Oh, Hartwood? Any of our grown homes should have some. When the Greenspeakers shape trees into houses, it often leaves behind wilted and useless heartwood. We keep them as decoration, but no one would mind getting rid of it. What can I get for you? I have goods from the march and into Valen Wood. I've got some spare chitin in stock, and I'd be happy to sell it to you. But, uh, you're not from round here, right? I could use a favour. Really? Fine, sure. Take some chitin. Don't want to anger a mage. My friend from the tent, how good to see you. Did you find the ritual components? I don't know what you mean. Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. Ah, you noticed them. Well, that's true. I intended to summon up just a simple magical force to clear the trees. My people, we don't make packs with Daedra, you know. But something went wrong. Very, very wrong. Cast the ritual. I've got everything ready here. Double check just to be sure. Just needed those components you gathered and... Yes, ready to go. I'll just get started. Okay, okay. I can do this. 
Just like forgetting my notes. Here we go. Wow. Master Tellinger's spell is easier than I thought. I think I... Something's wrong. What's going wrong? I did it right. It's... I need... help! It's just barely holding together. Since the spell I cast didn't... wasn't intended to bring in the Atronox, I'm having trouble sending them back. I need to link the spell with the Atronox. Cause, destroy the creatures and get me a core of each element type. And... Uh, hurry! What's going on here? You summoned Daedra into our forest. We're working on it. Please, I'm trying to. You're a monster. Our contract is broken. The Green has spoken. No! Wait! She seemed very upset. Very upset. Alanya, no! Ranith will cook her up now that she's seen what's happening here. I have to go. I... I'm such a failure. Please, you have to help me set this right. I normally fail at everything. You have to understand this spell worked too well. I wanted a simple magical construct and it summoned dozens of Atronox. Something has to be corrupting my ritual, twisting it. Take this wand. I borrowed it from Master Tellinger before I left the guild. You can use it to pinpoint the source of the corruption. I have to go after Ranith. I have to save my wife.
Hey there, mortal. How you doing? Ha! You mortals. You always make me laugh. <laughs> you know, I'm a talking dog. Name's Barbus. I'm a companion to the Daedric Prince of Wishes. Guy by the name of Clavicus Vile. Hold on, hold on. We'll get to that in a moment. I bet you're here about all those Atronachs, right? That stupid mage let his magic get away from him. Well, this altar here next to me is the cause of all his problems. He had this silent plea to have something work well just once in his life. The altar twisted that up, and to be honest, it keeps me bound here. <laughs> Look, do you want to fix things for that guy or not? His wife will get eaten if you sit around talking to dogs all day. If you want to set things right, you'll have to smash the altar. <sighs> we'll both be happier with that altar smashed. You'll see. Sure, mortal. What can old Barbus tell you? He's a pain in my furry butt, that's what he is. He's the Daedric Prince of Deals. Make a wish, seal a pact, and he'll be there to grant you all the power you want. For a price, obviously. That's kind of a rude question, isn't it? I'm a dog. Look at my snuggly fur and cute wiggling tail. I'm adorable. Bile and I have a complicated relationship. How can I explain it to you? Um, oh, I'm a dog, right? He put me in the doghouse. Won't let me home unless somebody else lets me out. I don't really know. I guess there was some kind of cult here in the march a long time ago. Or maybe it represents the site of some kind of important pact. Even Vile's forgotten about this old place now. Good luck with whatever it was, mortal. What is it? What's going on? Where's Percalmo? Where's my husband? You've returned. Don't try to interfere. But Kalmo brought this on himself. Atronox, in our wood. What are you talking about? I saw the Atronox. Our sacred wood, ravaged by Daedric beasts. I gave him a chance and he spit in my face. I wish it were otherwise, but the green pact is clear. You must eat his sin. You have acted with honor so far, and I have no reason to think you a liar. What about the Atronachs, though? 
We aren't prepared to face beasts like that. And he can send those things away. I see. It's clear to me now that Willowgrove needs someone wise to the ways of spellcasting. Hmm. In the meantime, I owe some apologies. I will set about freeing Alanya. She did not deserve our rough treatment. He's locked within my home. He was being held until... <clears throat> until mealtime. Go and fetch him. I will untie Alanya and meet you there. What's this? My friend! They hit me over the head and dragged me in here. Is Alanya safe? Truly? Thank the eight, my friend. Without you, I would never have found out what was going on. Thank you. Alanya and I are deeply in your debt. Where is she? What are we waiting for, then? Let's go! Reach men say that fires are only dangerous when they get bored. That's why we tell them stories and let them lick our food. Master Pocolmo, Lady Alanya, please, accept my apology. Um, don't worry, I, I thought it was my fault too. What he means to say is, these sorts of misunderstandings happen. We're not the type to hold a grudge. Right, yes, that, that's what I meant. I'd like to extend you a more permanent offer here. We could use someone with your diligence and knowledge. I don't really follow. I don't want to put Alanya at... Dear, she's offering you a job. You'd be the town mage. Really? I mean, yes, absolutely. Uh, if it's all right with you, dear. I think I'd quite like that. No more stone tables, though, Ronith. It would be our honor to have you both here. I'd probably be in a stew if it hadn't been for you. Thank you. Did you hear? Raneth wants to make me their town mage. Elanya loves it here. I think it's the need. I can be a working spellcaster instead of a failed student. I can do this, and it's all thanks to you. Thank you. We came far too close to a tragedy here. If we'd wrongly slain Elanya. Thanks to you. A touch of a Daedric Prince is enough to muddy any water. I look forward to working with Master Pacoma. We could really use someone of his expertise. May the Green guide your steps.
please help me. I don't know what to do. Please, you must stop. Listen to me. You have come to Hadran's caravan for the games, yes? The gambling? My hand is missing. I fear the worst and I do not know what to do. He is my mate, my life partner. He came to the caravan to bet on the games, to win gold so that we could make a life together. <sighs> Foolish Tan. No coin is worth his life. His father and sister joined me in the search and told me of a woman named Azum. She works for Hadran himself. Might even know where my boy has gone. But would not speak to us. Please, will you try to speak to her? I can see the benevolence of Srendar in your eyes. Thank you. Who can say why a man in love does anything? We have spoken about our plans over the last few years. What we want to do with our lives. Tan grew restless, tired of waiting for tomorrow to come. Our dream, do not laugh, please. Tan's father, Mozag, is a cook, and a very accomplished cook. My Tan is a good cook as well, and I have always wanted to run a business. We spoke of opening our own tavern, making Mozag proud. You have not heard of Hadran? His reputation is one of darkness and cruel claws. They say he trades in slave flesh and skooma, that he makes deals with spies and traitors. I worry my sweet tand is in over his head. Why is it my hands always seem to be cold? Join the games or join the revelry. Sooner or later you'll be back here with a thirst. I just know it. Why not load up? Welcome to Hadran's caravan. I'm Ezum. I manage the games and the tavern. What can I do for you? You'll have to excuse me. I make it a policy not to discuss what guests have come to the caravan or what they do here. We value the privacy of our clients, you know. Ah, I understand. I'd like to help, but... You know, perhaps some of the game runners may have seen him. If you were to speak to them, maybe spend some coin, perhaps they may recall this kitten. It's what I'd do, if I were you. 
let's see. Dulan espies many things from his position at the Lizard Racetrack, and most people that come to the caravan watch the spike ball races, so Bunal is a good bet. Kaba up at the troll ring has a keen eye for newcomers. The next race is about to begin. Place your bets. Remember, the fine line between winning and losing is the finish line. Now is not the time for questions. Now is the time for betting. Place your bet on one of these fine lizards. Winners get fed, losers feed us. Right into the stew pot. After the race is finished, we can discuss your friend. You question my skill at cooking? This one's stew is known for yards around. But, uh, maybe you have a suggestion? An exotic recipe? Tand. Tand. Ah, yes. Dulon remembers him now. Yellow braids, younger. He was here. He lost many coins, then got into the moon sugar rum. Sad state of affairs. Oh, of this I am sure. But if Hadran heard about this, well, the boss doesn't mind drinking, and he has a certain patience for owing. But drunks that owe a lot of coin tend to disappear. They are hard on the peace and bad for business. Who can say? Dulon never sees them again. Now go. This one has races to run. I thought you gave up thieving.
look strong, sleek. Yes, come, come, join the race. Try your hand at spikeball, the sport of champions. Why look when you have found your new calling? Spikeball is the most exciting new sport in all of Tamriel. You will be hero to all. Perhaps you do not understand. Bunol is running a business here. He must run a match. Perhaps after the match, Bunol will be more willing to discuss this tanned person. But only after the match. Yes, Bruno likes your style. The game is simple. You must run the course and beat the other runners to the finish line. Each of you will carry three spike balls. These you can use to throw at your opponents, to stun them and slow them down. And you are? Yeah. Buy me a drink? Ready! Set! Spike ball! like the wind and hurl like a giant. If you were to consider a career in spike ball, this one would be pleased to be your manager. I remember your talent, yes. He was a fierce runner, great speed, very powerful. Spike ball? No, uh, he was a terrible at spike ball. Hadron's men were chasing him. I have never seen such an athlete. This one thinks a spike ball or two would have served him well. Witness a diabolical duel of death and destruction. Place your bets. Two terrifying titans face off in a bloody battle of bulk. Welcome to the Troll Arena. Kaba has no interest in talking of troublemakers. All she speaks of are bets and trolls, winners and losers. Perhaps if you were to bet, she would remember a loser named Tand. It was you who stopped the Colovians? Out of respect for what you did at Arenthia, you may ask your questions, but be quick. I have much to attend to. Kaba remembers him. He bet and bet until he lost all his gold, crawled into the bottle. Azum heard of his losses and his drinking and his debts. He might have even heard from Kaba. Who can say? She has tried to warn troublemakers off in times past, before Hadron can get his claws on them. This one does not know, and she does not want to know. Hadron makes troublemakers and debtors disappear. Kaba is not so curious about their fate that she would risk sharing it. I've been looking for you. Hadran would like a moment of your time. I wouldn't talk like that in front of Hadran. In my experience, prophecies like that have a way of fulfilling themselves. You brought this attention on yourself. Show a bit more subtlety, and you might just live through this day. Smartest thing you've said today. Yes, I'm taking you to Hadran. Mind what you say to him, and keep your guard up. And don't trust him. I certainly don't.
Let me explain how things work around here. For our little operation to work, everybody's got to watch everybody else. The dealers watch the players, the game bosses watch the dealers, and a Zoom watches the managers. Me? I watch everybody. But today, I'm watching you. Let me tell you about Tand. When he won, he collected. When he lost, he borrowed. When the well ran dry, he whined. He owes me a lot of gold. If I forgave the debts of every whiner with a sob story, I'd be out of business. Of course he's still alive. Dead men don't pay debts. We made a deal, him and me. He's working it off. Doing a little heavy lifting around the camp. And when he gets used up, I'm going to sell him. He doesn't know about that part yet. Why not? Come on, big shot. I'll take you to him myself. Walk this way. Easy now. Don't kill the only ally you have in this camp. I just want to talk. Hadron's a monster. Over the years, the coin, the skooma, they've made him cruel. Cross him, and usually you end up buried in a hole out in the wastes. Kill him, and no one will mourn him. What I propose is simple. A kind of limited partnership. Kill Hadran and walk out of here with that boy, Tand. I've worked this caravan all my life. These people are my family. What started as a side business for Hadran is getting out of hand. Hadran's a slave trader. The Khajiit you're looking for isn't working off a debt. He's being sold on the open market. Grab some of the old uniforms in that tent, free tent and the other prisoners, and they can walk out in disguise. Hadran already has buyers set up. He'll be out for blood. He comes after you, and you take him out. Simple. This one promises to bring money next month. No, next week. You can't hurt me. Shifty can't get the money if... What? Really? Oh, thank Riddlefar. Untie this one. Thank you.
Well, I wasn't stealing. I just slipped and put my hands in his coin pouch. Oh, finally, you cretins listen to reason. It was an accident. Oh, I think I should keep the money that fell into my palm just as compensation for this incident. My friends are going to murder you for this. Just you wait. You are? Oh, thank you. I was so scared. Many thanks. We must get out of here. Tan thought he was going to be sold. This one thanks you for your help. Tan came here. He thought he could win money enough to open a tavern, make his father and his sin proud. Before this one knew what was happening, he was dragged off by Hadran and his strongmen. They said they would sell this one to slavers. Yes, yes, we must leave. The gate to the outside is just around the corner. Sind must be worried sick over this one. have returned my tan to me. I do not know how it would have gone on without him. Your kindness will never be forgotten. How did you get him out of there? Truly, then thanks Render you came along. Tamriel is free of another shaveskin muskars. And Tan is returned to me. Bright moons and long life to you, Walker. We will remember you, always. Come here. Oh, please. No lecture. This one is sorry. You deserve one. We were worried about you. Tand knows. Life is a story, yes? We must live through it together. You cannot skip to the last page. Win a life in a gambling den. Tand knows. He just wanted to make you and Muzag proud. We are proud of you. Your father, your sister, me. You do not need a lot of coin to make us proud. Tand knows. We're here for you, you know that. We'll get through this. This is nothing like the time with those Colovians, yeah? The time you almost lost your eye. Oh, that was a bad one. This one loves you, Sind. I love you too, Tand. Thank you so much for helping this one, stranger. Tan promises to be a better life mate to Sind.
I cannot wait to see the look on Mozag's face when I return his son to him. It is going to earn points with your boyfriend's father, yes? <laughs> <laughs>